Welcome back, Giant Growers. It's Chris Brown, Garden of Giants YouTube channel. It's about mid, mid late June, late June, coming up on July. Uh, Fourth of July is next week. And for a lot of us, we either have a little pumpkin or we're pollinating pumpkins and seeing if they're taking. But what do you do when your pumpkin gets about cantaloupe size or maybe basketball size? Um, there's a very important step that I wanna go over today that is absolutely critical in your giant pumpkin journey. So what we're going to talk about today is the, the layer or the platform that your pumpkin is going to grow on that protects it from the soil. Very, very important that you do that. If you leave your pumpkin on the soil, more times than not, you're going to get rot. The pumpkin will rot, it will die. So we're going to go over in detail exactly how I do it. And there are several methods to this. Um, I'll try to highlight them all, but I'll show you how I have had success with growing my giants on different platforms. Um, so that they are protected from the soil um, as they grow and get bigger. So join me today and see how we protect the bottom sides of our giant pumpkin. Right, giant growers before we get into it go ahead like subscribe lots of videos this year all to teach and improve your skill level so that you can move your giant pumpkin growing game up from maybe a few hundred pounds to a thousand pounds or more um, so as we get into it here today um, what I'm going to show you today is one uh, method that I use in fact I'm going to show you a method with the um, pink foam board and the mill fabric. Now, mill fabric can be very difficult to find. Um, so if you can't get a hold of mill fabric, just use the pink foam board. This can be used as a standalone product, and I'll get into that later. But the one of the easiest ways to get a, a protection layer under your pumpkin is simply getting a foam board. You can get these at a Menards. Uh, that's where I got this one. Um, Home Depot, Lowe's, it's one inch thick, it's eight feet by four feet. So what I like to do is just cut it right in half, you'll have a four by four foot section. Obviously, if you grow a really big pumpkin, you may need to um, put either more of this on the side or some sand, something to protect you from the ground. But I think for most of us, a four by four foot is sufficient enough up until you get I think around 2,000 pounds then you may want to increase the size but very affordable this piece is $22 you cut it in half that's $11 per pumpkin usually you can get several seasons out of this um, I think I have some that I'm on my third year with um, but even if it does fall apart and you got to get rid of it it's not very expensive to replace now a lot of people say why don't you just use a board you can use a board boards work fine um, what i don't like about boards is that you do have to put a lot of holes in them and they do tend in most cases to absorb and hold moisture which you don't want under your pumpkin so the reason why I use this is it does not hold moisture, and as you're going to see, there'll be zero moisture, zero water around your pumpkin once I'm done getting this ready for the pumpkin patch. So let's uh, let's get into it. All right, giant growers, very simple, very easy process here. You just measure out four feet. You make a mark, and just going to cut straight through that mark so from one end to the other cut that cut that and then uh, then really all you got to do is just turn it over lift it up like that very simple very easy now you got two four by four foot boards 
we're going to throw this I have it sitting on some buckets. Why? Because we're going to put some holes in it. Now this is absolute key. You need the holes in here because that is what's going to drain it. Whether you put mill fabric on or just sand, you need something where all the water is gonna drain through. If you don't have that, you can run the risk of rot. So all we gotta do, Quickly put some holes in. I need to space them out every so often. Quick and easy that was. Bump that off. We'll uh, sweep that up. Now you got your uh, Swiss cheese there, but what is important about this is that it now provides a spot where your pumpkin can sit, grow, and you don't have to worry about any sort of water buildup of the wood being too wet um of it pooling or holding water um as everything will drain through here you can now put either your mill fabric on like i normally do or you can just keep it like this and then just put your sand on now the sand is important and we'll get into that in a little bit but the sand is going to allow that pumpkin to move very smoothly across the surface and if without it, yeah, it might still work, but if it ever grabs itself, then it will fall onto its, onto its flower blossom and you want it to move very smoothly. Um, so put at least a very fine layer of sand or thin layer, but you can go a little, a little heavier if you want, especially if you're trying to use it to position pumpkins. But let's uh, get out to the patch and put our first one on. All right, guys, we got the... The board's all drilled, the foam boards, pink foam boards. We got the sand. Now let's uh, let's head out to the patch here. The first pumpkin I think we're going to do is going to be the 2365. This one, I, uh, I, I've decided to keep this one for sure. Um, there's the backup. Which, which doesn't look bad. I even did another backup. But this one is growing well. As you can see, it's getting big. So we need to, in fact, it's almost getting too big. So hopefully I can do this just fine. But we need to get everything in place because the little bit of sand that I put under it is, as you can see, you can't even see it anymore. So this one's in desperate need especially with rain possibly coming in this afternoon. I do not want wet soil touching my pumpkin. So uh, this, is, this, is, uh, this will show you exactly how we do it. So let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, finished product. It was that easy, giant growers. And just some things to look look at here. <clears throat> I like to get that at least thin layer of sand under the bottom. If you have to, I mean, this pumpkin's a little bit bigger. If you have to, you can lift it up and just push some under. Um, otherwise, you can put down the layer of sand and then set the pumpkin on it. But again, all that does is it helps push it, um, push it out. Now, if I was going to put mill fabric on, 
um, I would put this layer of sand down and then the mill fabric on top and then um, then the sand on the mill fabric so that you have the nice sliding um, in fact maybe I will throw the mill fabric on here just to show you how it's done we'll see um, but then the other thing is um, you want the vines off to the side remember this pumpkin will grow into this entire area and more than likely this pumpkin will have to be pulled forward because as you look down on it on this four by four foot sheet um, this pumpkin will grow both this way and it will grow that way we have a little bit of this leaf probably will be history here soon before it scratches something but we have um, a little bit of a little bit of room there but um, the pumpkin will grow out that way as of right now all the vines are very loose um, so nothing's kinking obviously but what I'm afraid of is these are both rooted so as this pushes back this way it'll bring that vine back and at some point it may kink if it grows too much so we'll have to watch it watch it and see um, not a big deal you can always adjust your pumpkins quite easily up to about a thousand pounds once they get over a thousand it becomes a little more difficult um, but that is pretty much it maybe I'll throw the mill fabric on just to show you guys how it's done all right All right, now the mill fabric's on. Note to self, that's an awfully big pumpkin to be trying that by yourself. I, uh, I wouldn't recommend it for any, probably any grower, let alone new grower. Um, you, uh, you can easily, easily snap a, a vine. Just getting the flower all the remnants of the flower blossom off there um anyways you can easily break a vine by trying to move a pumpkin by yourself as you're trying to slide stuff underneath so um probably would have made for good tv but um i'm really glad that it did not break everything looks good there that little brown thing i'll watch that that was rubbing with the skewer that uh, just got too close. I think it'll be just fine, but obviously we gotta watch it. Other than that, this, uh, this pumpkin looks really good. Now, what I'll probably do is, I'll probably, uh, look almost right up to the crown there. Uh, but anyways, getting sidetracked here. I'll probably go grab some styrofoam and I'll show you guys how to lift up the vines because if we back off here, you see how we have this, it's kind of cockeyed. You want the stem and the flower end to be parallel, to be perfect, perfectly even. You don't want this way, you don't want that way. That way the flower end goes into the ground. This way you get a bird bath. So I will show you guys how to do that next. All right, giant growers, just to show you the final products here. Put on a lot of these little styrofoams. The reason why I like to use this styrofoam is it does not hold water. Um, it, it repels it off it. Um, so you don't have to worry about any sort of water sitting around. Um, and what I essentially did was I just supported the vine. Obviously that's the main vine there coming up. That's rooted. I may have to pull that if I start getting tension, but I supported that vine, bringing it up to this level and then that level there. So if I have to, I will continue to raise these vines to keep this stem level because as you can see, 
we're almost perfectly level now. So that is the key because you do not want your pumpkin diving down or going back and creating a bird bath. You want a nice round pumpkin and actually this is, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's a 2365 Wolf and that is a gorgeous pumpkin, a little bit of length to it and just really nice and round. So hopefully this turns into something really special. Um, other than that, that is it. Thank you so much guys and growing big.